Bonjour guys, welcome to a really exciting video that we have in store for you guys today. So bros, that's it, that's official. EH Sports will no longer be available to sell PIPA points in Belgium. So guys, we make this video, we're gonna discuss what we do think about FIFA yes. points and we're gonna analyze this decision because bros, this will change FIFA Ultimate Team as the game mode that we love and eight at the same time. So bros, before we start this video, drop a massive thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel. And guys, because it's a discussion video, yes. we want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Of course, guys, we're gonna leave the link in the description of the article. But now, bros, let's analyze this decision. So bros, they say in September 2018, the Belgian government, which had declared loot boxes to be a form of gambling because players don't know exactly which item in a box might contain when buying one, this is gambling bros, this is what happens when you purchase FIFA points because FIFA points are the sole purpose of buying packs or entering a draft. Yes. Entering draft, there is no problem because you know what you're getting. But with packs, you don't know what you're getting because you can pack Ronaldo or you can pack no workout whatsoever in 12k FIFA points. Yes, and that's really bro, a huge problem because if we take the example of Fortnite for example, you purchase V-Box but you know which skin you will buy because exactly. you can see it on the store. In, FIFA, in, pa, in packs, in FIFA 19, you don't know who you get in, when you open a pack. And that's the real problem. And that's why FIFA point got removed by the Belgian government. Yes. So if we continue, then after they talk about other games and all that. As I said, we're going to leave the link in the description yes. if you guys want to read out everything. So after a further discussion with the Belgian authorities, we, de we have decided to stop offering FIFA points for sale in Belgium. This is why gambling, loot boxes, it's not allowed anymore in Belgium. This change will come into effect the 31st January. It's in two days. Two days only? So bros, that's another strategy from EH Sports. They knew for a long time Since that they, they will not be able to, to, to sell any FIFA points. But yet, they say this only three days before it. So that means for all of you guys that are living in Belgium and that, wants, that still want to open packs with FIFA points, well, you got to stack up with, with right now with FIFA points. That will cost you a lot of money right away, which uh, that's another strategy from EA Sports. To be fair, bros, if you are living in Belgium if, and if you like to buy FIFA points right now, that's the moment you need to go ham on those FIFA points. Yeah. And for me, bros, this is just my, con my conspiracy. Uh, why the heck do they say this official statement while right now we are living and everybody is talking about the new patch that will change FIFA 19 and they knew that they will need to remove FIFA points in Belgium since September but of course they release this statement at the same moment of the yeah. patch after I can think whatever I want you can think whatever you want but in my opinion boss this is not fair to give sports to say this three days only uh, three days before the official before the official removing, removing of FIFA points. Yes, especially because this new patch, bros, it's completely, it's a different game. And we're gonna, t we're gonna give our thoughts about the patch when we have to play more game because we just played two games and it was, it's a it's completely a different, different game. game. So bros, more, more on that subject later on. So bros, if we continue, which means from then players in Belgium will not be able to buy points to buy feedbacks. Of course, bros, then uh, they will still be able to play Ultimate Team and use their existing players and they will still be able to obtain food packs with food coins, the virtual currency you earn through playing the game. But they will no longer be able to pay to get ahead. No longer to pay to get ahead. So by this statement, it's pay to win. How can a competitive game mode be a pay to win? How can the skill of someone depend purposely and only on the wallet of that player and not on his skills? For me, bros, this is a disgrace. This should not be a competitive game mode. And even the commentators of uh, those even say that you need to invest massively to get the best players. It should never be the case. Yep. Now, bros, they say we apologize to our players in Belgium for any inconven inconvenience caused by this change. All right, they are, they are sorry. We, we, we get okay, it, we get okay. it. So, bros, last year EA came out strongly in saying that they didn't believe loot boxes were a form of gambling. Really, yet sports? You should let us know the odds of getting every single player. Yeah. Right? Player. Not, not, I'm not talking about the rating, we're talking about player. Players. What, are, what is the pack odds of packing Cristiano Roberto Ronaldo, Paulo Dybala, Lionel Messi, Neymar? What are the odds of packing exactly. that specific player? Exactly. So, bros, they say, in April, it says the game were developed and implemented ethically and lawfully around the world. Come on, EH Sports. Come on. There's kids playing this game. We're 21 years old. 
We know the value of money. If you're 13, if you have never worked a day in your life, you don't know because you're only 13, you're at school. So this statement for me, bros, I'm going to be honest, I'm getting a little bit triggered right now from EH Sports because I do think about the 13, the under 18 year old people that they spend money on this game, but it's not their own money. They don't yes. know, they don't know the, the, the effect of gambling. If we continue, this year, this EA CEO Andrew Wilson saying May was because players always receive a specific number of items in each pack. Like, even the CEO says that he doesn't know what he's talking about. We're talking about players. We're not talking about the items. Name. It could be contract, fitness, and all that. So, bros, for me, this is another and another bullshit from EA Sports. And Rana Bros, we're not, we want the game to be the best as it, as it can be. Rana Bros, I do think that the removing of FIFA points in Belgium speci specifically needs to apply to the entire world because if you want your game to be an eSports ready game, then everybody who lives in the world needs to be equal because it should be a fair game. Yes. So bros, let's continue. Uh, because we didn't provide or authorize any way to cash out or sell items in virtual currency for real money. You can if you sell coins uh, to a website, but we, we don't really talk about that in this video. For FIFA 19, EA added fickle probabilities for the first time. This system tells you the percentage chance you have of obtaining a card of a certain quality from a pack. Guys, we can all agree that this new thing right here, the Prime Electrum, the, do you know the pack probability? That I don't know if they are right now on the, on the let's check it out, on the store. Let me see if they're on the store. This is complete BS. I mean, what is the pack probability? Okay, so they don't really say it now because they, we don't have a, we, we're not running a promotion, but they said gold players, if we go back to this screen, gold 75 plus, 100% chance. Gold 82 plus player, 41% chance. Gold 85 plus, 4.3% chance. So already, boys, you can see the pack luck is just horrendous for yes. 85 plus. Once to watch player less than 1%. No, you don't tell us exactly. It could be 0 0.11111%. It could be 0 0.00001%. We don't know. You say less than one. So just by this, this is false. You don't know because this was a screenshot from the once to watch promotion and once to watch were the thing. We still don't know the prob probability. And then I might want to add another thing. Someone like Nangolan. Personally, I've never packed Nangolan so far on FIFA 19. But yet, someone like Jeko, I packed him multiple times. But both are 85 rated. You know, if we can get into the specifics of every player, we will realize that some 85 players are way more common than some others. For example, Van Dijk, Van Dijk, Van Dijk for example. Yeah. But guys, as well, if it's Sport decide to remove FIFA points in a FIFA 20, for example, trust me that the packed weight will be way different. Your pack clock will be way better. If you finish elite, goal free, and top 100 in future champions, you will be rewarded way better than we are yes. today. If we finish elite, because we constantly finish elite, and we get shafted more or less every single week. Nonetheless, if for FIFA 20 EH Sports decide to remove FIFA Pond, trust me, it will be way more worth it to finish elite and if you finish top 100, you'll be rewarded for it. Because you'll have to grind to get those packs. And bros, this is my theory. Of course, you can interpret it differently. But I do think the pack clock right now in general is pretty bad. Because there are just way too many packs open. Of course, bros, so many people put FIFA points to yes. open packs. That there's millions of packs being opened every single day. Every second so one of these packs. Exactly. So, EA Sports... They know, they know that if they give out a Cristiano Ronaldo to everyone that opened packs, their game is dead. So let's continue to read this exciting, exciting statement. They say, we seek to bring choice, fairness, value and fun to our players in all of our games. You want fairness, what? fairness. What? Wait, what so you mean in FIFA 19, guys? In FIFA 19, if I want to be in an eSport competitive game mode, if I want to be entering one of those event in future champions at the start of the game I put zero money and I have the same chance of someone putting 5,000 euros that's what they said fairness no. this is completely bullshit bros if yeah. if if you want to compete at a high level you need to put big money big amount of money and for me bros this is disgusting because not everybody can afford to put hundreds nor thousands on packs and we do come from a family that has medium income 
I'm not, I cannot afford to, to be putting hundreds every single month, thousands every single year. Because here, bros, we're talking about a yearly game. We're not talking about a year that will last for five games. We're mm. talking about a yearly a game. A yearly game. Therefore, if you guys have put a lot of money, FIFA points in FIFA 18, do you still play FIFA 18? No, you don't. You know, bros, you have to be careful whenever you put FIFA points in. So, bros, he said, in addition to providing players option and how they play, we include pack probabilities in our games. It's fake, he sports. You know, it's fake. You saw less than 1%. It was the same for once to watch, screen player, team of the year, and we still don't know the odds of getting an icon. So, no, this is wrong, he sports. So, if we continue, while we... Are taking this action we do not agree with belgium authorities yeah because then you'll make less less money and your business i can understand of course your business you want to make money you want to make profit but your profit should not be by using underage kids to buy fifa points or even adults because bros there's a lot of stories of grown men being addicted being addict to it and being in debt in debt of FIFA Ultimate Team and bros, Just we, have, packs. we have to take care of this issue really, really, really soon because bros, there's a lot of people out there that are really dick to packs and there's nothing on you but it's EA creating this value, creating this need inside of you to open packs to do like the big content creators. They do make a revenue from it. We do make a revenue from making YouTube videos. It might be big, it might be small but we do earn a little bit of money from it. You guys, if you're not making videos, if you don't stream, you don't make any money from it. And I, I could be wrong, but I don't think you are popular as well. Therefore, the money you don't earn, you give to them. So, bros, if we continue, and we will continue to seek more clarity in the matter as we go forward. The impact of this change to FIFA Ultimate Team in Belgium is not material to our financial performance. Come on, Yet Sports. Come on. You make... Less, um, you make more money from micro transaction in the game than actually selling the game. That's huge. That's huge. You make billions over FIFA points, yet you still make billions over selling FIFA 19. But micro transaction nowadays is, I'm, I'm gonna say a random number, but I'm sure it's more than 50% of the sell game. So, oh. eSports, why are you lying to us? You know, we know that you're making millions, and there's nothing wrong with that because I'll be more inclined of. Maybe putting 10 euros for a custom badge, for a custom kit that I can upload to, to the game. This I don't mind. I will love it personally. That's a solution that we offer exactly. EH Sports right now. If they remove FIFA points, if they remove FIFA points, they will make way less money. This we know. But there is way more option for you EH Sports to make money if and if only you think about the community first. Yeah. The solution, my solution personally would be why not to pay a, a yearly fee to play Ultimate Team. Bros, I wouldn't mind paying maybe 20 to 30 euros each year to be able to complete and to enter Ultimate Team. Especially uh, if we can enter future champions. If you guys need better servers, if you guys need more server, I don't mind. If the price is not too, excev too excessively uh, expensive, Maybe we can uh, agree on a, on an agreement, you know, on a, a deal. Yellow fee. Exactly, on a yellow fee. Let's say 20, 30 euros, maybe to better servers. Because we know where that money will go. I don't mind, bros. I don't mind paying 30 euros to have a great connection in future champions. For my Australian friend, for my uh, Eastern European friend, for my friends in America to have a good connection as well in future champions. Because this is as well an issue we have to talk about yet, sports. How so many professional FIFA players are German? Yes, they are really good, I know this. But you gotta admit that because of their servers in Frankfurt, their servers in Frankfurt advantage German players. It's obvious. Players it, that live in Australia are not, well, they're not advantage if the, their servers is really far away from where they play. And it's unfair. <laughs> it's really unfair, both From where you live in the world, you don't have the same advantage for someone exactly. who lives close to the to the to the ES servers. Nonetheless, another option for you EH Sports if you're watching this video, I wouldn't mind paying 10, 15 euros if I have my customized kit, yeah. if I have my own kit, if I have my own badge. I wouldn't mind paying this. Take a look at Fortnite for example. Fortnite it's not gambling. You buy V Bucks, you pay 20 euros of worth worth of V Bucks, but you buy your skin and you know what you will exactly. get. And that's not a problem because that's not gambling. 
Yeah. That's macro transaction, but it's not gambling. Exactly. Opening packs is gambling. And there's exactly. nothing wrong, bros. Trust me, there's nothing wrong about running a road to glory. This is exactly why I felt in love with Ultimate Team. And bros, we all felt in love with Ultimate Team for multiple reasons. One of my main reasons was because it was my personal team. It was my dream team. And bros, to be fair with you, having a dream team that I can work for by running few champions, division level, squad battle, few draft, it's way more rewarding than just uh, paying 100 bucks to open packs and get shafted because I got Edin Dzeko as my best player out of 12k worth of FIFA points. Yes, and bros, right now, I'm sure most of us don't really put too much money into FIFA points, but if you do put a lot of money into FIFA points, even if you have the best team possible, most of you guys right now, I'm talking to a really small portion right now. 1%. Of the, not, not even 1%. You don't even play the game during the week. You only play the game either Division Rivals, if you're in D1, if you're a pro player, if you want to get better, or Fit Champions, yet you have the best players in the world. So guys, FIFA, the FIFA cycle within FIFA points being so huge is two or three months. After Team of the Year, the game is dead, yeah. quote-unquote, uh, because everybody yeah. that's put thousands on this game have the best impossible. If you didn't put thousand on this game look at us we still want to buy Gullit we're still waiting for the Primacon we still want to buy Ronaldo we still want to buy a lot of those players because we have put no FIFA points and for us the game is still enjoyable the gameplay can be bad but it is still enjoyable for us yes. right so guys uh, it is still possible to have the great team if you do spend the time on the game so now yet sports you have to take a look at the gameplay situation because for years you have, neject, uh, you have neglect. Neglect, neglect the gameplay situation to create pack animation to create pack design which in all honesty is good it's good for your marketing it's good for your revenue but now it's time to think about the community exactly. because the re removing FIFA points in Belgium will affect the entire world because you cannot uh, be an esports esports scene fair game a fair game if one country doesn't have FIFA points but the rest of the world have it so esports will take huge decision for FIFA points in so. FIFA 20 in my personal opinion and bros with that decision that EA Sports will do, that will switch the dynamic. EA Sports, since the start of FIFA Ultimate Team, always got what they wanted, aka the money. Now, because they will have less money, they will think about the community, what we want. And that's where the dynamic switch. Exactly. Now, the FIFA community, we will get what we want. Yeah, we were about giving them you know, normally it should be the other way around. We are the customers. We, really we should be receiving, but instead we are giving to them. Now, it's time for EA Sports to give back to us. Yes. Good gameplay, fun gameplay, enjoyment playing this game. Because right now, bros, for most of us, of course, this is your opinion, this is my opinion, but right now it's a chore to play FIFA and bros. That can be for all the best in the world, FIFA, especially for FIFA Ultimate Team, because bros, nowadays, most of the community logs in five minutes before 6 p.m. UK time to see what SBC comes out and then after they do play another game. Yeah. This is the only truth about what's happening right now. So guys, if you have enjoyed the video, sorry if it was kind of a long one, but we have a lot to discuss about, drop a massive thumbs up. Make sure to share this video, guys, uh, so we can, so EA Sports can see what we are all thinking, hopefully. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel to see what you can do with a road to glory. Future champions highlight might be coming tomorrow yes. as well as our future champions rewards. So bros, thank you so much for watching. It has been your boy, Liam. My name is Vincent. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and we are really passionate about yes. Ultimate Team. We do not want to offend anyone who works at EA. Of we course. want the best possible for every single party involving into this game. Of course, guys, this is our own opinion. We try to offer you the best solution possible. If you have any question, we do have Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you talk to us, interact with us on there and as well in the comment section down below. Nonetheless, my name is Vincent. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys tomorrow. Au revoir.